Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Fortnite Play I Play. And we're back playing, uh, what's the series called again? Um, Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, so where were we last night? I think we were at, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm playing Heart of the Cards, and today we're gonna play on Kaiba's side, and we're gonna be using his story deck. Wait, so we're switching sides. Does that mean we have to, um, I just mean have to lose? Well, that'll be easy, seeing this is this deck is bullshit. Alright, let's see this. Wait. We gotta play three rounds. Three rounds of this? Oh, and we got the most useless card. Yakuten no Megami. Which I believe is uh, Japanese for... Um, uh, I don't know what it's Japanese for. Uh, pretty Elf. Whatever. I have no idea why they didn't release this game for, like, a mult... Motherfucker! Wait, what do I got? I gotta give the Mystical Elf. No, that's not gonna do anything. Alright. No, fuck you. No. Stop it. Stop asking me. I don't need it. So it's right click. The fact is useless. Cousin, cousin, uh, in, uh, fucking... In fucking Tag Force, uh, they have an option for you to, uh, skip... Uh, or to make the game go a lot faster. As well as the fact they have like voice acted lines too, and why won't you speak to me, Yugi? Yugi! Kaiba! Yugi! Kaiba! Yugi! Kaiba! Yugi! Kaiba! I'm making your fan fictions come true. <laughs> Alright, let's lay down one another one of these. Um, uh, let's play ourselves level 5, Gakuten Megami. Which means, uh, uh, Long Elf. Beautiful Elf? Uh, Mystical Elf. No. I'm terrible at this. I didn't even study Japanese. Alright, I'm gonna leave the beginning. For the past three years! <laughs> uh, my teachers would be disappointed in me. Mother Trucker! You he's gonna kick my ass! Where the hell were all these cars when I was playing? They weren't there! Wait, how much tech does that fucker have? Ha! Ah. You can't beat me, Yugi! There's no point. I keep thinking that's the attack, but I'm not reading. I'm not reading. My reading comprehension was really low when I was in school. You, you fool. You think a face down card can stop me? I don't play. Dispel! Oh, I should probably watch out for that. I now play Battle Ox in attack position! I proceed to my battle phase! Battle Ox, attack! Ah! It's my turn, Kaiba! I now play Swords of Revealing Light! And I end my turn. My move. I draw! I end my turn. You got off lucky this time, Yugi. What? No! I swear to God, Kaiba's voice is very, very uh, raspy in the dub. This, this guy's just playing cards whenever he can. I don't think the AI is even that smart. I mean, attack force is a lot smarter. We need to strategize and to play and have different strategies. This was just going all willy nilly. Yeah, that'll stop his spellbinding circle. Uh, 
Oh no, who could have seen that? Oh no, a Sangan! Whatever shall I do? You're pathetic, Yugi. I now flip! I play Trap Master, destroying your spellbinding circle! What the? Can I, can I not? Oh. I select the card to activate. Uh, oh, okay, so it's asking me to chain. I really need to learn how to read! I now play Blue Eyes White Dragon! What? No, no 3D effects? Oh, he gets one, but I don't get one? Bull crap. Ah, oh, I feel those nice life points coming back to me. Oh, there it is! I'm a bit angry they didn't include three malls for every monster, but at the same time, I know how much alert that would be. But I mean, like, in Tag Force, you got, like, a freaking cutscene each time, um, a player played something. Well, now. Like a little cutscene each time um, a special card will be summoned or attacked. And then you can skip it too. Or it won't show up in uh, multiplayer. That does mystical elf. I'm gonna smash ya. Nope, be a warrior. I already seen this. Skip! Nope. Ah, so apparently the space button is, 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 the, is the pause menu button. I'll call shenanigans. And like that, you are about to die, Yugi, very slowly. Watch as my monsters take down your life point one by one! No! 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 I was so close, Yugi! What the shite? Oh, it gave me a constellation of, of, of a freaking uh, exactly the forbidden one? You know what? Screw you, I'm out of here. No, no, I'm. I'm... No, frig it. I want to go to the next level, you know? This is obviously too much. Alright. <clears throat> Watch my voice acting talent. <clears throat> After his win against Seto Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box has a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR, and Pegasus' face popped up to, on the TV screen. Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I decided to investigate your amazing duels, dueling skills personally. Right here and right now, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move, except for Yuki. The dark dimension we're, no we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite possible. Tell me, Yugi boy, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game! What if I told you I didn't? Uh huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this Shadow Games. Oh, wait. <laughs> the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Game. That's games. With, with an S. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real. Yugi, you, you freaking killed somebody with- you freaking killed Kaiba with one of them in the manga. I do you know they're not real? 
and also quite dangerous, Yugi boy. You really are quite entertaining, the way you scowl and sneer, so defiant and yet helpless, and so completely ignorant of your Millennium Puzzle. Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? 5,000 years ago, a millennium in the full kids dub, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical millennium items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle's one of them? Yes! And there are- wait, yes! And there are mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever, if only you knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did, despite this advantage. This, this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents to this day, Yugi Moto, and when, the, and when next we duel, we shall play for far higher stakes. I'm done with your games! Tsk, tsk, tsk. You presume I'm going to give you the ma choice in the matter, but I'm not, for I also possess one of the Millennium items. I swear to God, my tongue won't let me uh, speak. The all-powerful Millennium Eye! A Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of this magic. I found out that, given the improper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi can only watch in horror. Yugi! Grandpa! We will duel again, Yugi. How else will you reclaim your- how, how, how will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yugi had no choice but to compete in Pegasus Duelist Kingdom tournament so that he could get his grandfather's soul pack. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two star chests which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Whoever earned the ten star chips gained entry to the tournament finals where they could compete for three million dollars grand prize and the chance to duel Pegasus himself. Yeah, that's nice, but, you know, a billion dollars would be a lot better, isn't it? For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duel with whom he had a bit of history. While riding the boat to Duel's Kingdom, Weevil took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw him into the ocean. Good riddance. You know, I wouldn't want to face Exodia again. I mean, because that last duel was bullshit, right? Am I right? It was all bullshit, right? No? Maybe? Well, screw you anyways. So when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased after him into the woods. Well said to the spider to the fly, you flew right into my trap! It's time you answer for destroying my zodiac cards, Weevil! Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out if you're good at dueling as you are running away! Why is I simply running away? Or cleverly weaving you into my web! It's time to duel! Alright. <clears throat> Well, that's enough time for today. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Full Play I Play. And uh, hopefully I get myself a win. <laughs> Just hopefully. I swear to God, I'm really good at this game, okay? Just don't leave, okay? Bye!